Hello everyone and welcome back to my balcony garden. Today I am excited because I am starting my spring flowering bulb planting session that kind of takes over my whole of autumn um, and I'm starting with muscari so I'm going to be planting those bulbs today. I'm going to show you how I do it. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I adore planting and growing bulbs and I have a playlist dedicated to all of that, how to grow them and how to look after them. I will link it above, you can check it out if you're interested. Let's get started. So I am starting today with my muscari bulbs. I have a small city balcony, so I grow most of my things, food, bulbs, everything in pots. So I'm gonna be planting my muscari bulbs into pots. You can start planting muscari bulbs from about September through to November. I grew them last year on my balcony. I had them in a mixed pot with other bulbs. I think there were definitely daffodils and no, sorry, there were tulips in there and there were also crocuses and it was really beautiful and they were so stunning and so easy to grow, really. And they actually flowered right up until even early summer. So I got a lot of joy out of them. So I can really recommend growing them. So what you're going to need are, of course, your muscari bulbs. So I have some here. I've bought them actually recently. Before you start planting any bulbs, always make sure that they are free of pests and diseases. And ideally that they have this sort of papery tunic on around them. That's going to help keep them nice and protected in the soil. You're going to need a pot. I am using, I think this is about 15 centimeter deep pot. Um, and it's also ceramic and make sure that there's always a drainage hole for pots, uh, sorry, for bulbs because drainage is very important for the success of growing bulbs. Bulbs have evolved in areas that are, that are very dry and have lots of rocky elements and stones within the soil. So they're very used to free draining soil. So if they're sitting in water for any length of time, there's a chance that they're going to rot and then they're going to die. You're going to need some free draining compost. You can also mix in grit or sand. And again, that's going to also help with drainage. And lastly, a little label with the name of the bulbs that you've planted on it. An important thing to remember before we get started actually planting is that bulbs like to sit at a specific depth in the soil, whether they're in pots or in the open soil. For each bulb, the depth is different. So for example, crocuses like to sit at about 10 centimetres, daffodils like to be around 15 to 20 centimetres, and tulips like to be even deeper than that, so they like to be at 20 centimetres. So knowing this depth is going to tell you what size of pot you're going to need, because of course, you're going to have a need to have a little bit of soil at the bottom for the roots to come out of and to start taking up nutrients, but the pot also needs to be deep enough for the bulbs to sit at in this nice, comfortable, perfect level for them. I did a very short video which is a little trick and it's going to help you find out what is this optimum depth without even knowing what bulb you have. But if you're buying bulbs, there's going to always be this optimum depth on the packaging. So just make sure that you always have a look at the back of the packaging. Mascari like to sit at about 10 centimeters deep. So I will fill my soil up to here and pop them in. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start filling my pot with this nice free draining soil and I'm just going to gently firm them down as I go. Because this is a relatively small pot, I'm not using any crockery at the bottom. That also improves drainage. Um, and because this pot is also ceramic and the water is going to be leaching out, there's, I find that it's not necessary. But of course you can use crockery at the bottom if you like. So that looks about good enough. So I think that's about 10 centimeters now. If you're fussy, you can even measure it. And I got a little ruler here just to be pedantic. And oh my days, look at that. It is just bang on. Wow, I've planted too many bulbs in my life. So when we are planting bulbs, there's always a top and a bottom to any bulb. And the top is this little pointy part here. And the bottom is where you always see those roots coming out and they've normally got a flat, flatter bottom as well. So you pop them on the bottom there, like that. And I'm just going to fill the pot. Now, when it comes to planting muscari, they like to be about five, to eight centimeters apart. But I have found that you can get away 
with placing them a little bit closer um, when you're planting them in smaller pots. So I'm actually planting them a little bit closer than I should. YOLO. So that's me. And now I'm just going to fill in the pot. Again, gently firming down as I go. And that is how you plant mascari bulbs. You can see how easy it is. I'm just going to pop my label in because I'm about to plant a million more bulbs and I always forget which ones are in which pots. So I really recommend using labels as well. I'm going to give this pot a lovely big drink and then I'm going to put it in a nice sheltered spot on my balcony. I'm just going to put it on those shelves there. And other than that, we just wait until spring. So that was how to plant mascari bulbs. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support it. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I send you all my good wishes and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.